Fuck off! Leave me the hell alone. No. No. brought to you by Bud Light's Mangarita. It's brought to you by Shame and Regret. Hold on a minute. Daddy's got to prepare. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Triple X Brand Reviews. The Trump Years. It's basically the same thing, only from now on, we grab everybody by the pussy. Ding. That's the difference. That's how you're going to know. Anyway, guys, so now up, we have a fine product brought to you from our good friends at ToyDemon.com. This is the Gloria on a Hole, or Mickey style masturbator from a company called Cocos, who are founded in South Korea. I wish I would have known this when I went there. I would have looked these guys up because it probably would have been would have made my trip a little more special than it already was. But yeah, I wish I would have known that. Anyway, guys. This is the Gloria. It's part of this artistic series that um, Cocos is doing with our handheld masturbators. As you can see from the top graphics here that I can absolutely show you because this is art. This isn't like sexual in nature. This is me displaying art. That's how we get through that whole flagging of the video thing. Anyway guys, there's a few others in their series like the Sandra and then there's like the Mickey Sisters. That was like the Nymphomania and something else. I can't remember the name of it, but they had like a whole line of toys with this kind of artistic graphics on the cover of the box here. It's rather simplistic, clean, nice, elegant looking box art. And I have to applaud them for that. You know, they don't do anything grotesque or over the top. They leave it very subtle, very classy. So Coco gets the cigar and the top hat rating for that. Anyway, guys. Um, as you probably know, and you guys are well aware, especially if you're an enthusiast towards male masturbators or just sex toys in general like I am, this year has been probably the worst year uh, to date for sex toy releases. There hasn't been anything that really has come out that has just blown me away. So when I was looking for a review to do, and I know I haven't been doing a lot of them for you guys, and I apologize for that, but when, I've been looking, when I was looking for a review to do, I was like, you know what, this looks gorgeous. I want to do this. But for one reason and one reason only, is because when I saw this on Toy Demon's website, I immediately thought, this is going to pair fantastically well with the Makey plush hip. And it does. Once it's inserted, it's almost like a seamless design. Plus, it adds to the tightness of the toy, which is already tight on its own. But with this holding it in place and gripping it around all sides, all 360 degree sides, and makes for an enjoyable experience. So let's go ahead and show you the box, talk a little bit more about the artistic collection that um, Cocos is doing here, and then open it up and show you guys what you get when you purchase this toy on ToyDemon.com. So this is the Gloria. Like I said, there's others in the series. This is apparently number four. I'm not sure if they're counting the Mickey sisters as one and two, and then moving forward. I'm not entirely sure on that, guys, but this is number four in the series, and like I said, it's a very elegant, beautiful, artistic drawing of a woman's body here. But anyway, guys, it's very nice box art. gives you a cutaway view of what the inner structure looks like, and we'll talk more about that later. We get into sensation and feeling, but let's go ahead and open this box up and show you what you get. Now, when I initially opened this box, I was pleased to find that there's a hard plastic shell inside of here where it houses the toy. Not only that, but it does have a cover which is really, really nice. So if you don't have the Makey toy bags, you guys can put it back in here and just close the cover and it'll keep lint and pet hair and all that stuff away. But I do highly recommend, if you don't own one already, to go out and buy a Makey toy bag because they are the probably the smartest investment you can make towards your toys, just to keep them dust and lint free. And they're very, very cheap and they're very, very stylish and they're nice and they don't leave little lint curlies all over your toy. So anyway, inside the box, you will find your toy wrapped in plastic. Now, this does have a very similar design. We have seen this numerous times in other handheld masturbators. So there's nothing really new here. 
But the one thing that you're going to notice right out of taking it from the packaging is that there is some weight to this baby. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it is almost two pounds in weight. So it's rather heavy and it's very dense. Like you can just feel it just by holding it in your hand and passing it from one hand to the next or just holding it in your hand like this. You're going to notice the weight to it. It's got some density to it. And that's because it's a dual layer masturbator with a very dense core that provides a very stimulating sensation, very tight, stimulating, almost to the point of irritation, hardness to the inner structure of this toy. So, there she is. I bought her and said, you know what? She's going to look awesome in my Mickey uh, plush hip, and she does. Rather cumbersome to get in because these little grooves do cause a little bit of a problem. It's nice to have it in your hand because you're able to grip it really, really nicely. But it does become somewhat of a small issue when you're trying to put it inside the Makey Plus Ship. If you guys know, or if you guys have one of these, you probably know what I'm talking about already. But it does become a bit of a chore. It just seems like you want to get hung up a lot. Um, inside here, it is very, very tight, especially with man with gorilla hands. It does become a bit of a hassle and a bit of an issue and a chore to get it in there. But once it does, I think the color of the material and the fact that it is a camel toe design provides a very flush, seamless look when it's um, paired up with a, a Makey Plus Ship. Now, it doesn't sit perfectly flush, but when I was using this with the Makey Plus Ship, I was almost thankful for that because it's got like this puckering des um, design to it, which kind of extends past the legs of the hip. So it's almost like it's been made specifically for this hip. Like, they put that in mind. Like, they said, hey, we don't want this flat design. We want this bit of a bubble pooch out here that give you, like, the realistic camel toe design. Because when you're penetrating it, it just makes it that much easier to have that mound of flesh on top of there to kind of navigate you into it without having to force yourself down further and move past the legs or position the legs in a way that doesn't seem natural to you. Now, when you look at the inner structure... It looks rather plain Jane, but it is a very dense, hard inner structure. It is a dual layer um, construction, which means the outer layer is a softer material that's soft and flesh-like to the touch. The inner structure is lined with a much thicker, denser material to increase the sensation. And this works a million times with this toy. It looks kind of wide, like as if you penetrated everything would just kind of move out of the way and you wouldn't feel it, but that's not the case. This thing feels like it's just enclosed, like there's already a hand gripping around it. So you feel every little node, every little dip and crease, and yeah, everything that's gone into this toy, you are going to feel. Now, when you put it inside the Makey plush hip, the pressure from the toy itself kind of clamps down. So instead of using your hand, the toy itself kind of clamps down around it 360 degrees. So you will feel that a hundred times more. Plus, when your hands are out of the equation, like I've been saying for years now, the sensation of the toy is increased tenfold. So, yeah, I freaking love this toy. I haven't felt a toy this tight in a long time. It's almost comparable to the Tango, which is an anal handheld masturbator that I absolutely freaking love. It's one of my top favorite um, anal masturbators of all time. But anyway, so... Let's go ahead and break this down into its categories because I'm basically already discussing sensation and feeling and I promise I would keep this short and I'm already rambling like a madman. But for sensation and feeling... Oh, flips the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look awesome in post-production though. For sensation and feeling, I gave this a 4.8. Did I really? Oh my god, I did. 4.8 out of 5. Because it's been a long time since I've actually... Um, used a handheld masturbator where I was able to feel everything that's gone into the construction of the toy. And believe me, that is a freaking breath of fresh air in a very stale year that we've been having so far when it comes to male sex toys. Um, I enjoyed this toy greatly. You immediately can feel that it's going to be awesome as soon as you pull it out of the box because like I said, it does have a density to it. So you know that the sensations inside the inner structure are going to come out. And with that dual, I, I think if it did not have a dual construction like this or dual layer, dual, dual layer construction like this one does, um, it would have lost a lot of, of the sensation and feeling points. But the fact that it is just makes it amazing to me. I loved it. And paired with the Makey Plus Ship, I absolutely recommend this to you guys. If you don't have one yet, go out and get one because it will re like revise all the freaking... Uh, 
handheld masturbators you have in your closet right now. If you do not own one of these, by all means, go out and get one. It's unbelievably fantastic, and it's fairly cheap. Things like $149. It's a sliding scale, and especially with Black Friday coming around the corner, guys, you might be able to pick one of these up and a package deal for insanely cheap. So by all means, make sure you add that to your basket before um, the Black Friday sales hit so you guys can get one before they are all sold out. Anyway, now it was a little difficult to get um, initial penetration, but once it started, it was fairly easy. There's a little bit of suction cost from the very big um, ending of the tunnel. It kind of forms a little air pocket, so it gives you like this natural um, suction or vacuum suction seal around your penis, so you will feel it tugging a little bit. It's not that great. It's not like over the top, kind of like what Toy Demon, um, not Toy Demon, sorry, Toys Hearts um, focuses on a lot with their um, bald ends of their tunnels. This one is still there, but it doesn't really give you a whole lot of suction like the Toys Hearts handheld masturbators do, but it still adds to the sensation of the toy. Now, when I was using it, I did notice that it did feel a little bit irritating after a certain point. I've been trying out this new lube and it's just not working, guys. I, I don't like it at all. I won't even mention it right here, but by all means, guys, stick with, stick with the Makey Lotion. I freaking love that thing. I've burned through it already. We use it in our sexual activities here at the home because it stays and it's very slick and it, it's not runny or watery like most of the other lubes I've run across. So if you guys haven't got any Makey Lotion either, by all means, go out and get it. But um, you're going to need a lot of it with this one because it does... It does seem like the lube doesn't have many places to go, and after a few thrusts, you're going to notice that the whatever lube you're using is going to be whipped away pretty quickly. So it could be, potentially end up being irritating for most people out there, especially if you're girthy like me. Uh, there's no, nowhere for your penis really to go because, like I said, the design and construction of this toy, it's very restricting. It kind of keeps everything in place. The hell? <laughs> So it's very, very tight when you're using it. So by all means, use plenty of, plenty of lube. But beyond all that, guys, I wouldn't say it felt very natural to actual vaginal sex unless you know a girl who's very dry and her internal organs are like um, rock. <laughs> but other than that, it was very enjoyable. Um, I don't have anything I could really compare it to besides the tango and the, um, like, when you're putting it into the categories of tightness and overall sensation, I would definitely put this up against the Tango any day of the week. It's very, very nice, and I'm very proud of what Cocos is doing here with our artistic collection. It looks very, very um, pleasing to the eye aesthetically, and it was fantastic to use sexually. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on to cleaning and maintenance. Now, for cleaning and maintenance, I gave this a 3.0 because it is rather tough cleaning this thing because, like I said, it is really tight, and especially towards the end of the... Um, end of the tunnel. There's no real give or stretch here, um, which can make you kind of afraid that you're going to rip it, but don't worry. I've put this thing through all its paces. It didn't rip or tear once, but putting a, the foam bottle brush in that I bought that I highly recommend you guys get, it's anywhere you go shopping, you're going to find a bottle brush. It's basically in the baby section of your local grocery store or Walmart or whatever you, you guys have. Um, it was very hard to fit it down in there, and that's a first for me. Like, I've never seen one that was like, oh my god, I'm going to either destroy my bottle brush or I'm going to puncture this toy with the handle of the bottle brush. So it is very, very tight, and even still, I wasn't able to get all the way to the bottom to wick away all the moisture. So there is the potential of mold or some kind of bacteria growing at the, the very bottom of this tunnel. So you have to, by all means, go out and get yourself some antibacterial toy cleaner. For price and performance, we gave this a score of 4.2 because it is $49.99, which lands it right dead center in the all of the handheld masturbators that are on Toy Demon's website. That seems to be like the earmark that every person goes for when they have a handheld masturbator. They say, okay, 45 bucks, and there's a lot of stiff competition when it comes to that. So it's very hard for me to rank this against all the other handheld masturbators that we tried in the past because there are so many great ones. This one's nice. This was a beautiful um, breath of fresh air and like I said in a rather stale year so far guys. It's been such a bad year when it's come to male masturbators. We haven't seen anything that's really knocked our socks off in a while since the Vore standalone cyclone which I still love to this day and spoiler alert 
is still my number one favorite male sex toy of all time. But this was very enjoyable, and that's why I give I give it a final score of 4.0 out of 5, which lands it in the highly recommended category. Um, if you guys got the money and you're looking for something good to, um, good to buy, by all means, not only just listen to my review, but we'll listen to all the user reviews that are just so detrimental on Toy Demon's website. I, I'm in love with a lot of these guys that are like a huge, they're huge patrons to the Toy Demon forum, and they probably should be where I am instead of me being here rambling you guys. These guys are amazing. So by all means, go ahead and check out the forums, read the reviews from the users that actually buy them, the verified users, and make your own educated guess. But if you bought this, you would not be disappointed. I can almost guarantee it. But other than that, guys, uh, Black Friday is coming. It is coming very, very soon. So by all means, make sure you add everything to your wish list now, whatever, so when the time comes and the sale starts, you guys can immediately grab those up because they're I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be limited quantities on certain items and I don't want you guys to miss out because it is absolutely without a doubt the best sale you're going to get uh, all year from ToyDemon.com and by all means guys make sure you shop at ToyDemon.com we're going to do a video later why, where I discuss why I love ToyDemon.com and why I only work with those guys and um, yeah just give you guys a little insight on why I only work with them. Anyway, don't hurt anybody, stay safe, and I'll see you guys all here next time. Thanks for watching. Buy this. It's great. It really is. And try Prozac and Abilify and alcohol one of these days, if you ever get a chance. It's like slipping into a warm bath. I love it. Love it so much. Oh! Uh.